timing, I think uh, this is not likely that anything will be passed on its way to the President before Thanksgiving. It seems like it's a new deadline uh, members of Congress have set for themselves. Um, and I think that may be, may be a good thing. This may give advocates of reform a chance to kind of regroup and uh, get their act together. Um, and I, I know they want to have some more hearings. Uh, Senator Harkin told me that now that he's the chair of the committee and they're back from the September, their August recess, that, that he was considering holding more hearings. And, and I think there, there could be uh, some, some benefit in, in having some time to make sure that members of Congress are, uh, are, are, are hearing from their constituents who support the reform and give them uh, a bit more uh, support than, than we've had. By the way, I, I might note that the, all the blue dogs you hear about are not anti-public option. I've, I've met several of them, talked to them, and uh, uh, some of them are, are strong advocates for a public option. I'll say this too. Part of the strategy of the insurance industry and others who don't like a public option is to make is to try to make the rest of us feel and think that it's a dead issue and to get us discouraged and to give up the fight is part of the strategy, it's psychological as well as, as anything else. And they're very savvy about this. So know that it's not dead. I've talked to many members of Congress and I've heard their strong support. Speaker Pelosi is a very strong advocate for it. Um, and, and, so, and, and many members of the Senate are too. So it's just, it's just another one of the tactics that they use to try to discourage people and think that, well, the best reform we can get is the Baltus bill, and that's not true. Um, some people say there are already too many insurance companies, why do we need more competition? Uh, that could be. There, there are far fewer uh, companies than there used to be, and the insurance industry would like you to think, on their, their website they say that, they're, that American Health Insurance Plans they get, uh, represents 1,300 claims <coughs> It's nothing like that. Uh, that's a sheer fabrication. They're, 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 they're double counting, they're counting vendors. Uh, it's, it's just simply a lie. Uh, but they like to, uh, they like policy makers to think that people have a lot of choice. Um, but in reality, most people have very, very limited choice. Uh, most markets uh, are they're, they're one or two very dominant uh, companies. I've, I've noted that here in Philadelphia, for example, uh, uh, Independence Blue Cross and Aetna are the big players. Uh, Edna <coughs> bought its way in here uh, a few years ago and bought U.S. Healthcare. Uh, Cigna is based here. Its corporate office is here. Offices. It's uh, where I work. And I've seen some, some friends out there who uh, who also worked uh, for Cigna. Uh, but uh, Cigna would love to have a better presence here in hometown. They can't do it because uh, once uh, uh, there's a lot by a few big companies on the market, the barriers for entry are almost insurmountable. That's why this idea of, of, of co-ops is, is ludicrous. They're never going to be able to have uh, the resources, the financial strength, uh, the number of members to, to be an active, you know, any, anything that would compete. They're doomed to failure from the get-go. Um, so over the course of the last several years, there's been enormous consolidation in the industry with far fewer than there used to be. Uh, and that's why we've been able to have this so-called cartel, what I call cartel of the insurance company. Uh, design cell phones for healthcare. The biggest comment I get is no dollars for the government is there. A message. It's the same to apply. Um, well, you put me on the spot there. I, I don't know. Um, I will make this point, though. This does remind me that one of the ways and reasons why the bonus reform has been so successful is that they spent a lot of time on linguistics and, and message research. And they know that, uh, for example, just a simple term of government takeover will scare the Jesus out of people. So that's what we need to know. And, and we, need to, we need to think like them. Uh, we, uh, uh, proponents of reform, often talk in technical terms or, or explain benefits in ways that make you know, people doze off. Uh, it, it is complex, it's hard, but we need to spend a lot more time and attention on uh, simple messages and making sure people understand the simple messages.